Hi everyone, it's Shelly and I am back um, with Art Matters. Thanks again, um, back in my studio to join you for, this is a really cool one, like I, I love this. We're going to paint some paper with watercolor and then tear it up and make new images with it. Make abstractions, landscapes, whatever it is that you wanna make. So thank you so much for joining me today. And um, I hope you're doing well. Before I go over the land acknowledgement and our mission statement and stuff like that, let's just make a little noise. Take a little release, time for a release and some breath work. Maybe clean your glasses. <laughs> so we're going to just inhale, exhale. <sighs> Shake it out, shake out your hands. Aye! Claps, crack some knuckles. Ooh, stretch out your hands. And then we're gonna get ready to check out um, something that's very important to us and hopefully important to you are the land that we're living on and the people, the ancestral people who have been living here and stewarding the land for a long time and still are. So let's do that. I'm going to do a sh uh, screen share so you could read it along with me. You could even pause while I have the screen on and someone could read it from your group. So excuse the aesthetics. One day, oopsie, I will make the little more beautiful. Here we are, the land acknowledgement. Art matters is a collective of teaching artists based on Tiwa land, otherwise known as Albuquerque, New Mexico, which might be where you are or might not be. Um, if not, find out. Find out what land, the ancestral land that you are living on or right now. New Mexico has been and will always be the ancestral homeland of the Navajo Nation, the 20 Pueblos, three Apache nations, and the Ute tribe. So we'll take another deep breath. You wanna close your eyes and just honor the land and the people who came before and who always are, spirit, mind, body, land, earth, fire, water. And then we'll take a peek here at our mission statement. So we're a group of teaching artists, myself, Landis and Ade in 2022 are the current um, Art Matters teaching artists, and we bring authentic, engaging art experience to Albuquerque youth. Our content is designed to engage participants in art making with a focus on social justice, whole person health, community, joy, and creative engagement at the core of our process. So we hope that, and I hope that today you will feel put in yourself um, you will engage in this creative process and show up here. And I'm just going to read here and then I'll take us off the screen chair. Um, here's our lesson plan. Maybe you have it printed out. Maybe someone is uh, facilitating this for you in reading this along. And here we are. So everyone has a voice. We make space for all respectful questions, concerns, and ideas, and we learn from one another. We respect each other, ourselves, tools, materials, the environment, and we throw glitter, not shade, okay? So we're just here to be positive, to support, uh, to be inclusive and accessible. And we would really love for you to engage in the process, to hold space for joy and fun, to take risks, and to try something new. Maybe you've used watercolor before, maybe you haven't. Uh, just, we're gonna go at it with an open mind, open heart, and create, and if you wanna collaborate, once we make some of our paintings, maybe you wanna rip them up and share them with other people in the room. And we're just gonna move up, move up, and continue to grow and learn and expand and radiate with love, right? Um, so here we are, and now I'm gonna go over the materials. So we'll say goodbye to white screen time. And we're gonna look right here, my handy little camera. And please have, if you need to protect uh, the space beneath you, I'm working in my studio, which as you can see has layers and layers. It's its own ancestral land here. And um, 
Yeah, so if you need to protect your space with whatever it is, you can also put extra paper just around underneath your paper. We are gonna be painting. So hopefully um, you have received or have access to some a watercolor kit or some kind of paint. If you don't have paint, that's fine. Markers, color pencils. If you do have the paint, uh, water and a paintbrush. And if you have different size paintbrushes, that would be really great too. And because we're just going to create our own patterned paper. And we do have kits that we distribute uh, throughout Albuquerque. So if you would like access or if you would like to get some of these kits in the place where you're at does not have the kit. Here is a note. In the last two videos that I did, I said, Al I said art matters the wrong email, so I'm not going to say it. The correct way to get a hold of us is Art Matters AM, which stands for Albuquerque Museum, who I would like to thank for funding us and continuing to fund us and allowing us to grow and bring more and more art and art materials and art projects and workshops to youth and teen in Albuquerque. So Art Matters AM at gmail.com, get a hold of us, send us images of your work. And if you want art materials, let us know. We'll do the best that we can. So let's get started. We're going to start with a warm up. So I'm going to clear off these materials markers, color pencils, and paint if you have it. Watercolor is what I am using. And we're just going to start by making at least three pages, filling three pages of different, just to give you an example. Here's one that I'm letting dry um, as we're going along. So that one's already drying over there. Um, so if you want to first draw, and we're talking about patterns, we're talking about not thinking too much, we're talking about filling up the page. Hey, and if you wanna think about, because we're gonna rip up these pages and glue them down, um, the pieces of them to create another composition. So if you do have an idea, hey, I wanna make uh, water, um, then what kind of water do you want to have to cut up to use for your next piece of art? Do you wanna make a bird? Make something that could look like feathers. So now I'm on the water tip, so I'm just going to come in here with my watercolors. And one thing I love about watercolor, I don't know if you've done this before, this is where we're open and creative, not too concerned, is it just runs into the other color if we lay it down right by it. This is a beautiful color for water. You see how that's bleeding? So, you get the idea if you want to splatter, if you have enough room and if you have your space covered and the person next to you is coal with a little splatter, then we'll do that. Dots, lines, patterns, and then maybe just some really bright, oops, some other color that I don't haven't used. So I'm just trying to cover up my page. So if you would like to pause the video, you can pause the video and we're aiming to make three pages in this um, inspired, inspired by this so that we're just um, filling the whole page with color, with pattern, with texture, with shapes. And then we're gonna put it to the side and let it dry and do two more. So again, you can pause and meet me back um, and just make sure that if you need to take a break, take a break. If you need to take a breath, take a breath. If you need some water, drink some water and meet me back when you're ready. I'm going to work on one more here. Feel free to play music. I personally appreciate when people aren't wearing headphones um, and on their phone when I'm working with them because I'd like to know that we're connected. If you have music that everybody could listen to, that'd be cool. And if you really, um, I guess you can't listen to me if you're listening to music, but when you go into these spaces of making, 
and you have your direction, then if you want to listen to your headphones, listen to your headphones. If you need some music in the background, I just want you to keep painting and making art right now. And if you want to leave some of the paper white, go ahead. And I think if you, I personally, if I have, you can do monochromatic, which means monochromatic, maybe you know this, all one color, pretty much one color. Um, or you can also think about complementary colors. So the complementary color of blue is orange. So I'm going to put some complementary color because when I rip it up, it's going to be nice to have a little pop here and there. All right, so the one that's the most wet, I'm going to set aside and I'm going to start now to use the one that is the most dry. So again, if you need to pause and take a break for one of your pages to dry, please do that and then meet me back. Pause the video and I'll be right here. So I went and got a nice thick piece of mixed media paper, which is hopefully what you painted on. Um, the ones that I had underneath were like a copy paper. So I want to have a nice um, thicker piece of paper underneath with my glue stick. And I'm going to start arranging. So you might know this up and down like this is called portrait and this is called landscape. So vertical portrait landscape horizontal. I'm gonna do my portrait. Doesn't mean you have to make a portrait, but that just means like the up and down. So I'm gonna start like that. And then we're gonna have our paper and just start ripping it. Maybe you have an idea in mind, maybe you don't. And then again, like I said, if you're with other people and you want to share, so then you have this mix of different, because everybody paints differently and makes marks differently, just like we all sign our name differently, our handwriting's different. Same thing with the way we use our creative pens and pencils and paint brushes. This one's a little bit dry. And then I'm going to start to arrange them now that I cut them out. I still don't know exactly what I'm making. Maybe you've decided what you're making. And then we'll just start to glue. When you glue, Obviously, make sure you go all the way to the edges if you want those all those edges to be stuck down. Some people like it when they're um, collage, because now we're moving into the collage bit, is peeling up. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But here I'm, and I actually thought I was going to do what, you know what, I still am going to do water because I don't know um, when you're watching this, but right now it is May 29th, 2022, and we are hoping for water, right? So I'm going to make, these would be great raindrops, right? And I don't need scissors, right? If you have scissors and you wanna use them, you can, but I'm gonna turn all of these into raindrops. What I really would love to know what you're making. And again, so please, please, please take pictures if you have the capacity the ability to do that and then email them to us at artmattersam at gmail. I did go to New Day the Space. I've been there a few times recently and I saw some art up on the wall that was created inspired by some of our videos at Art Matters. So thank you so much for displaying that art. Share your art with others. Oops, here's a nice little passage that I'm gonna do. I'm going to put this big one in the background. And then I also want to invite you, um, if you want to go to the art museum on Mountain Road in Albuquerque, please let us know, artmattersam at gmail.com. And we would like to help you get um, free passes to come to the museum. And we could even escort you around and show you around. Um, but let us know because lots of the inspiration for the pieces that we work on come from the museum 
And we also, um, it's just, art museums are a great resource, I believe, for culture, for art, for seeing what other people are doing in the world, local and far away. So here I'm creating my raindrops. And now I decide I'm going to, because I have my ripped paper, I'm gonna drop in with some markers, drop in, no pun intended. I'm gonna put rain, rain, rain. I really hope that you are making something amazing and I'm sure you are and unique to yourself. It doesn't have to be representational. It could be completely abstract. So this is pretty abstract. However, I am representing the rain. So it's not a complete abstraction. And maybe one last thing I talked about, we have this red orange color. One last thing, what's it gonna be? Here we go, this part. And just continue to create and make. And I hope that you will share your art with each other and talk about your process. So again, pause the video at any time or you know when we sign out and I say goodbye, just please keep working if you're in the middle of your process still. I think you got the idea of the project here ripped paper collage and so you've made your very own patterned paper and turned it into a composition of something new let's see what it looks like this Ooh, i might like that better anyways it's great to work with you thank you so much for joining us thank you for joining me for showing up and doing some art today have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you hopefully soon. Adios. Don't forget to clean up your workspace and respect the materials and the environment and share your art.